To perform transfer learning, you'll need three things. First, you'll need a network to train. The point of transfer learning is that you'll get that network by starting with a pre-trained network and then modifying it. Second, you'll need data to train with. This means you need example images for which you already have the correct label. In machine learning terminology, this is known as supervised learning. The network will learn from examples with a known correct answer. Last, you'll need to specify a set of training options. Training involves applying an algorithm that iteratively improves the network's ability to correctly identify the training images. This algorithm can be fine-tuned with many parameters, such as how many training images to use at each step, the maximum number of iterations to take, the learning rate, or how aggressively new iterations should change the network parameters, and so on. So MATLAB needs you to specify a set of these training options when you train a network. But don't worry, you can often just use the default values for most parameters. Once you have these three components, the network, the training data, and the options for the training algorithm, training is pretty easy. Pass the three pieces to the train network function and wait for the train network to be returned as an output.